welcome to another video welcome to my channel my name is annabelle i'm a 28 year old artist from victoria australia and in this video we go on an adventure this was the first proper holiday that i have had in a couple of years so it was really nice to set up the tent and just chill out. I spent a lot of my time walking and exploring and the rest of my time painting. I did some painting on plein air and some from reference. In the second part of this video you will see a full plein air painting from start to finish in real time. But I wanted to take the first part of the video just to talk a little bit and show you some of the things that I saw and some of the thoughts I had as I was exploring the mountains and the mountain range. I don't know about you, but as an artist, especially when I'm in a place as beautiful as this, all I can think about when I'm looking around is how I will mix the colors that I'm seeing or how I will paint the effects of the light that I'm seeing. This painting here was my second plein air painting of the trip. I had started another one the night before when we arrived, which I finished later on. Uh, and you'll see a little bit of that in this video. Um, but I felt like I started to really distill and figure out my technique and my colors in this particular painting. I was really happy with how the distance and the atmospheric perspective came out. I wasn't super happy with my edges. I think they were all quite sharp and some of the shapes kind of ended in weird places. But as someone who is mainly a studio painter, I'm still getting used to painting on plein air and the different factors that you have to take into account to actually achieve a half decent painting. Overall though, I was happy with the light effects and the colors that I got in this particular painting. When I got back from that trip, I used some of the reference that I'd taken on my way up to the mountains and decided I would do some painting. Here I started to play a little bit with color mixing, trying to figure out my neutrals and my browns. I actually decided when I was doing this painting that I want to sit down and paint some color mixing cards that I can take with me when I'm plein air painting so that I can actually look at the color mixes that I already have, match them to what I'm seeing and help me speed up my plein air painting experience. On Thursday, we drove up to one of the higher peaks of the mountain range and we went and looked at some cattlemen huts. 
they're really cool. It was really interesting to see the history of these places. And then I came back, we went down to the lake and decided to do some plein air painting. This next part of the video is going to be as close to real time as I can get it. Unfortunately, my hair kept photobombing or video bombing at the first part of this video, so I had to edit it fairly heavily. But then most of the painting process after that will all be real time. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, and fair warning, a lot of the Aussie birds sound like something out of Jurassic Park. So be warned.
that is the finished painting. I was so happy with this one. I was really happy with the volume in the tray. After I finished that, I had a little chill. We did some fishing the next day. And then we went home. I'm really excited to see what paintings I make from all of the reference I got and everything I've learned. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Please like, subscribe, drop a comment, let me know what you think and I will talk to you soon. Bye.